Oh man. Yeah, so gotta wait for people people to get in live. Let's see how we doing. Alright, well we gonna continue on. Maybe some people will join up soon, maybe not. Right, we got one person in there. It's cold out here. Whew. But we gonna do this anyway. Show people the, uh, let's see. here Man, I, I gotta watch watch out baby. just trying to do some live footage of the Martin Luther King monument today since today is MLK today these gloves on keep my fingers right All right, let me get this for y'all so you can see what's going on. So we walk through all that. How's it going? Yeah, so scenes here. We do have actually a lot of people here. Got a lot of people here that uh. Didn't expect there to be a lot of people just because the weather was really bad. The weather forecast was bad for today. It's supposed to be a, a lot more snow. But last night and this morning, temperature warmed up for a bit, so it melted a lot. Let me see. Oh, dang. They canceled your event in LA? Melvin, you, what event was it? They had an MOK event? They were supposed to go down to L.A. or what? Okay, so yeah, we just got a monument there. This will probably end up being a short life. Oh, the parade. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we actually have a parade here. I probably should look into it. But. Uh, it's cold out here the way, so I don't know if people are going to be out for a long time or not. not going. But we got a... Uh, got a few, a, little, a few people here. You know, I think throughout the day a lot of people come, but it's so cold out here. I don't think people are going to stick around here too long just because it's hard to stay outside for a long time right now, you know? If you guys have never been here before, I'm just going to show you the, the whole view of the whole scene out here. This part of D.C. Okay, you got a big event in L.A., but it's raining. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so we just out here. Out here, got my uh, little little folks out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Family members, nephews. They uh, they haven't been here before, so figure we do that today. Might try to roll around downtown and and do some other stuff later but right now I just wanted to come out here and chill and uh, maybe see what everybody else is doing today which I got going on today Martin Luther King Jr. holiday everybody's off most people off not everybody I do have family members that are working today so 
It is what it is. But, you know, we got that man to thank for a lot of, a lot of liberties we got today and the way, uh, the way we evolve. And actually, we should look back to a lot of the properties or a lot of the, a lot of things he talked about. You know, with all this divisiveness going on, whether it's politics or whatever else we got going on, we, we probably should jump back to some of those old principles and uh, and start living, living a little bit better as a country, as a people, as a as a world. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't here to preach. I'm definitely not gonna preach, but I'm just saying. Yeah, man. Hit them like buttons. Hit that likes. Let me see what else I got going on. Yeah, appreciate that. Travelmatic. Make sure you check his channel out. He out there doing it, traveling, doing his thing. Yep, yep. Let me see how many we got here. We ain't, we ain't got but too many people in here. So I'm guessing we're gonna not going to have too many questions for things going on in D.C. Most of y'all know. The, the monument area and everything around here. Got the, the Jefferson Memorial over there on that side. There. Washington Monument is this way over here. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I try to get my microphone up so y'all can hear what's going on, but let's... Hmm? What? Are you just humming while I'm doing live? No. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> All right. We could go to the African Memorial, African American Memorial, Smithsonian actually, that's what it is. Could go there. I don't know if we can, yeah, we could probably walk from there, from here. Should we walk? Let's walk. <laughs> We gonna walk it. <laughs> All right, let's go this way though. Let's let's head this way. We are gonna walk it out. And uh, show y'all some of the stuff that's going on as we walk, walk through. A lot of famous famous quotes right here that are about equality and all that. So, uh, where is she? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. MOK's home in Atlanta. I don't even think I've been there. I don't think I have. I went to. Uh, one of the other memorials I went to was the one he has, they have in Memphis at the hotel that he was murdered at. And, um, yeah, you get a, you know, they, they play you a story, a movie that talks about the events leading up to that. It's pretty deep. You don't normally get that, that part of the story in other places, so. But, yeah, man, everybody's out here with the little ones trying to. Pass on some, some info. Pass on the history. It's definitely dope. So we'll see. We'll try to walk this way and try to head to the the Miss Smithsonian and see if we can uh well the thing is we gotta see if these these guys can make it because it's cold out here. You cold yet? Not really. You're trying to be tough. No, I'm probably just the bottom right bottom of what your ankles yeah all right so we're gonna walk and talk but yeah it's uh it is a it's okay holiday is uh it's one of those holidays it's not really i don't think a lot of people do a lot of traveling for it to tell you the truth we cross over here this way bill I don't think a lot of people do 
like far traveling for it. It's not like a lot of people would, from what I've seen. A lot of people just take the holiday off and uh, treat it as just another day off. Get up. But, you know, sometimes you do gotta just take a, a moment and reflect and realize how things were before, not that long ago, in the 60s even. You know, things are the, this country was a lot different. Since then, I would say things have definitely, definitely improved. I don't think anybody wishes that we are back there. So, thank you for that. And, you know, you know, Martin Luther King, that whole civil rights thing was a movement. So it wasn't, it wasn't just him. You know, it was a movement of, of the American people. <clears throat> they saw injustice going on in the country and they tackled it the best way they knew how. And they were persistent in getting results. I don't know, to tell you the truth. I know they got results from what they did, but to tell you the truth, I don't know if we have the same people who will be willing to do that with uh, what was at stake back then. You know, you know, every protest was getting beat down, locked up. We've seen all the videos growing up. It's funny, they don't show a lot of that anymore. You know, if they try to, or they try to frame it differently, but they were bucking the system. <laughs> they were bucking the system hard and going after the money with sit-ins and everything like that. So if you think about what we got going on today in this country, uh, we don't we don't have that same caliber of uh, of individuals. At least not in abundance. Like, it seems like they had more back then. More people would stand up for, for things and actually put themselves at risk for those things, and not, not just for taking advantage of a system. Anyway, but yeah, we'll continue on and see see the rest of the city as we walk through right now we're walking towards the Washington Monument the back side of it so we gotta I'm gonna show you in a second as soon as I get this glove off but walking around the back side of the Washington Monument and we're gonna have to walk towards the front to get to the Smithsonian that we're trying to go to it's it's a little bit of a hike I think maybe Maybe 10 minutes, which is normally nothing, but it's cold today, man. So I hope, if y'all watching, I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you appreciate it. All right, let's, uh, yeah, we're good here. It was sunnier earlier. It had the sun out, but let me see what this comment said. Had the sun, but yeah, you're right, man. Freedom is never given. Yeah, you're right. MOK and uh, Martin Luther King, or uh, who am I talking about? And uh, Malcolm X. Just trying to read these comments and navigate at the same time. Sorry. Yeah, it snowed out here last night. I think we got like a few inches. Maybe maybe four or five inches. No, not even five. I would say maybe three three inches in some places. But then it started raining afterwards, freezing rain. 
and uh, then it started regular raining. And then earlier today, it was, I think it got up to 45 degrees. So a lot of that stuff melted and they pre-treated the streets. So the roads are clear. That's the good thing about it. Yeah, I'm about to take a fall during the live. Yeah, we got the Jefferson coming up on the the monument right now. You see it over here. And you can see the Smithsonian in the back of the monument there, that lower building. The dark low building. Hey crossing here stay with me all right cool yep got the war two memorial over there That's pretty dope too. You can check that out maybe another time. I think I did a video on that as well. I don't know if I posted it yet. <laughs> yeah, man, almost almost fell. It'd have been funny for a live. People would have tuned in for that for sure. Get my watch out was up with that one. It's a live, bruh, so like I respond to people's comments. These dudes don't understand anything. I'm talking to myself. But yeah, so it's, um, it's cold. Actually, it might snow again. I think we got snow on the, I think in, I think they said in maybe Thursday it might snow again. Thursday, then Saturday. That's what I was seeing on the app the last time I looked earlier, a few hours ago. But you never know here. You're on the East Coast, especially DC area. They'll be forecasting something and it'll be 100% solid. And then <laughs> 30 minutes before, oh no, nah. instead of snow, you're going to get rain temperature just went up 15 degrees for what we thought it was going to be crazy yeah you can uh you can bet i'm gonna be back in a tropical environment before this winter is over it's nice for a little while you know see some snow and do all that but um you know, I don't, I don't need to stay here. I don't need to stay in the cold weather. I don't need to experience a full winter. So, yeah, I can. I think I'm. I think I'm about uh. My winter cup is filled up now this year. So pretty soon, I think you'll probably see me back in a tropical environment. Yeah, yeah, the snow's cool for about a week. Snow and, and and the cold weather in general, because you know when you're a kid you wanna you wanna experience the snow and play around in it. And especially if you're from this area of the United States, like you don't get snow all the time, but sometimes you get a lot of it. Some winters you don't get any, but as an adult, I've been around snow, cold weather, all that enough. Oh yeah, back on the plane for real, man. Like it's not, I don't see it's not even about, you know, just just taking trips. It's, it's that, that leverage of 
doing it this time of year too like you get you get out of the winter out of the winter saving money I don't know if you can see it's two two fingers I got saving money meet new people cool people eating good food you know if you get the right places and just just it's feeling alive you know what I mean those five things like I'm sure you can put it in another five or or different five or up to ten different things but traveling in general is always cool but then when you get that that basic thing of good weather it ain't even it's not even a good winter weather cold is still all the time are you, you can always prepare to go out and kick some snow and maybe do some snow sports right but here it'll be wet sometimes wet snow go out it's just nasty and dirty sometimes it's really cold and you get the good snow and then it'll warm up on you and you think you're good for a little while then before the day ends it drops off on you again into the teens I'm like, yo, man, this weather is just not constant enough to, uh, to depend on. All right, so what would I settle down, retire? Let me see that question again. Pull it up in a second. <clears throat> of all the places you've been, where would you settle down, retire? I'm considering living uh leaving the u.s forever um okay stefan so on that comment i don't know man i would say you know it's going to be i feel like <clears throat> we all personally evolve our uh our opinions of places as we stay there first time you're there you might love it whatever but i would say just start off with like something like mexico man because mexico is close Change this around real quick. Mexico is close. Oh yeah, I am cold out here. Mexico is close, and um, you can get a lot, a lot of things you want from the U.S. very quickly. I think they even got Amazon out there now. Um, you can get back to the U.S. real quickly from Mexico, and it's. Uh, Whipping up here. Yeah, all the benefits. Still cheaper. Cross over this way. Still cheaper. And it's uh got a lot of beaches. It's definitely warmer. A lot of retirees out there. If you're in Puerto Vallarta, places like that, you'll see uh, a lot of Americans there. It's easy, easy for an American to make moves in Mexico, retire there. Let me see what else we got. I stopped by the other channel for a few minutes. Oh yeah, yeah, I was at the Bengals game. Uh, yeah, whenever they played two days ago. That was a, <laughs> that trip we did was something. We drove from the DC area, well I drove from DC area down to meet up with my boys in Richmond, Virginia. And uh, then from there, we drove out. He got a uh, he got a Tesla, so we drove that thing out to Cincinnati. We had to make some stops, I think like three stops to charge or something like that. So it would have been an eight hour ride, ended up being like 10 with the charging included and all that which is cool because we actually had to make some stops anyway we had to pick up some some thermals <laughs> we ended up with some thermals had to, uh you know those stops they're all a lot of them were by good like uh sheets gas station or truck stops so we get to get food and all that we got restaurants nearby one of them had a shopping mall where we got a lot of stuff so that was dope you know, because we needed it. It came in handy. 
But then right after the game, we came back. <clears throat> and that was driving through the night, all night. And uh, last night was, I didn't get any sleep until last night. So yesterday I was, I was almost drunk all day from lack of sleep. <clears throat> But it was a good trip overall, man. It was uh, it, it's cool to see the the riffing that the you know all the Raiders fans were doing. We're gonna hold up right here. Just hold up. The riffing all the Raiders fans were doing on the uh, Bengals fans and all that, and then you know for the most part, you know if you didn't know, you'd be like, oh these dudes about to fight or whatever. But it was pretty, it was pretty uh, cordial, you know, just like you. It's like if you uh snapping on somebody around the way like you're talking smack about each other but it's all in good good fun so that was good to see actually it was I, I feel like stuff like that should be talked about more or broadcasted more to show that we're not even though we might we got differences even in football teams and all that stuff people still enjoy each other's company and the competition of the team so that was good to see all right, so we're here, we're about to cross over now. And uh, normally you need to, um, I guess you need to, I don't know if they're open, they look like they might be open, but normally you need, uh, you need to sign up online to get into the, the Smithsonian. But being that I'm retired military, I think me and my party should be able to get in right away. So we'll see. But yes, we will walk over now. We'll go in and check out the the Smithsonian. Yeah, we go in this way. Ooh. Yeah, get out of this cold. If nothing else. At least we can get out the cold. Mask up. I don't know. Somebody put a comment about something about mask I'll have to take a second to put my mask on right before we go in. Ooh, so we got a line here. Go ahead up in here and go. Oh shit, sure got going on here. Hold that, hold that like this towards me. Oh, drop it. Oh yeah, so I got my, got my cameraman assistant holding my camera while I get my stuff ready. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I can, I can do stuff like this now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I should have been using it, huh? You can't get gloves too. You can't get gloves because you ain't bring no gloves, man. <laughs> You got, you know, you, you got your hands in your pocket the whole time anyway. All right, let me see what's going on here. Woo! All right. Yeah, this ain't op optimal having this on, but I think y'all can still hear me. So, we got a line here that we got to wait in. And they check, uh, they're checking for your reservation thing, right? You got to print it out, reservation ticket. I have, uh, like I said, you know, veterans can get in without that is what I heard, but we'll see. We shall see. Put my gloves back on because it's still cold out here. Well, you good? Uh, I hear a lot of moaning and stuff from the cold out here. You know, it's a fever. <laughs> yeah, they got they got the coat on. They got a jacket on. They're good. Your hands are cold. Put them in your crotch. No, like inside your belt. Yeah, like right there. 
Yeah, if you put it in there, that's the hottest place inside your pocket there. Just don't fall down forward, you know? Hopefully, we, either we getting inside or we not. If we not getting inside, guess what we're going? Back to the car. So, yeah. All right, so we'll see. We might, we might be getting in, we might not. It's just a stick. It doesn't extend though. Okay. Yeah. In a certain areas. Are you videotaping right now? I'm alive, yeah. I'm videotaping myself. Okay, you cannot videotape this area at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Until you pass us, then you can videotape, go live, or whatever. Right. But two certain places you cannot go. It's Emmett Till and Trayvon Martin. You cannot videotape. Which are Emmett Till and, and Trayvon Martin? Okay, yeah. cool. It's all so good, though. Okay, thank you. So we're going to go up here. And uh, and go inside. Well, you know the thing is, we didn't want to record the whole uh, the whole security thing. So that's good. Like the phone was down for the most part, or blocking blocking a lot of that view. So that's a good thing that we didn't get that. But and we'll it's certain exhibits we can't record as well. They said so we'll stay away from that. But. Emmett Till and uh, Trayvon, Martin. Trayvon Martin are the two exhibits that we can't uh, show on video. So we'll skip that and then I'll take these. Well, they can go through and see it. And I just won't go in with the camera or I'll end the live at that point. Hopefully, I don't know if the sound is still coming in or, but here's a, here's an overview of, yep, of all of that there. You know, so we'll go up and start exploring. Aaron, tie your shoes up before we get on there. But yeah, you can see the the museum itself. The building has that, you know, almost like Ghanaian style architecture design. With all that there. This boy struggling, tying his shoes. Let me see what comments were even. Okay. <laughs> Dark Vader. <laughs> I was just looking at all the emojis in there. Alright. Let's, uh,. Dude, you're like the slowest shoe tire in the world. Get that one line, that one line that's all the way out there, pull it so it's not sticking all the way out there. Let's go, come on. All right, so. Finally get the shoe tied. He said it was hands was hurting because it's cold. It's taking him forever. That's excuses, man. Excuses. Just because you ten years old, you hear me? You think he's ten? He gets a he get a pass. All right, so we got. All right, we we'll walk in here first. Good. So yeah, just uh, organizing for success.
Yeah, it's, this museum is uh, has a lot going on. So even if I had a full battery and a full day, it still would be very difficult to uh, to get everything. But here's a lot of uh, this. You know, this section here is actually pretty interesting. African American military experience. It's uh, So you see a lot of the the history here <clears throat> that I would have never thought there were black soldiers during these wars, but there were people, black soldiers who contributed. Small numbers, but they were there. You see that guy there, a depiction of him. Revolutionary War. Second and Fourth Company in Connecticut, but you know, I know a lot of this doesn't translate well to a live, but I'm gonna just show a few things just to give an overview of what the what the museum is about. Y'all want to go ahead and take your time and, and read? Do what you gotta do. Yeah, or had your glasses. Oh, that's dope. Sorry. Oh, interesting stuff. I know this is uh, it's probably not the best content for a live, but leave it up for a little while. You good? Rice fields of South Carolina. Yeah. See the land 
Picnic roots right there. A lot of people came from Western Africa. Where uh, we're really good at planting rice. I think Mali was like the the main one. The country, current day country of Mali. Nice, yeah, man. I had to I had to go through <laughs> had to go through that little stuff in the the check in, man. Appreciate anybody that's still here. See Travelmatic, he's still in here. So I don't know. This this is not the best setup for a live. So. Yeah, no, that's why I, <laughs> I was seeing if you were still in here because I know that was definitely uh, huge in South Carolina. That whole rice, rice thing. Actually, let's, let's go back right quick, see what they was talking about. Yeah. Yes, yeah, all the stuff like I said this museum man is pretty is pretty deep like you have to come you got to come back here multiple times to really get a a handle on a lot of what was going on take in some of this information but well, this is my second time and my nephew's over here it's their first time so Okay. Oh uh, yeah. So they had to learn from the Senegalese, huh? I was actually there when that happened. Million Man March. I was there. I was. I think I was. I was in my teenage years, but I was there. They let me off from work. I think I was right over in that section. Me and uh, two of my cousins went there. That was a pretty dope event. Million Man March.
See, I was talking about earlier with the money. They was blocking the money back then. We, we ain't got that breed today. Yeah, so we're still in here, we're still live. Uh, I don't know, hopefully you can hear me what, all right with this mask on. But walking through, you get to, you get to see, uh, you know, even, even some of the African leaders right here. You got, let me show you this. This is Kwame Nkrumah right there in Ghana. You know, obviously I got Ghanaian family, so I've been screwed up on him a long time ago. I know I know what he looks like when I see him. <laughs> Most Americans probably don't know who Kwame Nkrumah was, but he led to uh, Ghana being the first black African country after uh, colonialism, European colonialism. And he advocated for a unified Africa. He wanted he wanted the USA, the United States of Africa. Uh, didn't work out, but you know you had that those thinkers back back then. So, a lot of a lot of interesting content here, man. It's uh, schools of hope. to this part but we didn't did we go down there around oh yeah okay so we didn't go through there okay so right. you guys know what those statues are no yeah which the olympics were uh germany yep shoes off it was a form of protesting as well
Yeah, I don't know if this is going to come in. It's kind of dark in here, but hopefully it comes out all right. I can see what's going on. I think uh, for a lot of this live, I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh damn, I didn't even see people was back there. I think I'm gonna have to cut the live short so I can go ahead and so I can go ahead and uh, get some better footage with the camera that I'm working with since I only got two hands. But yeah, I wanna. Um, Appreciate anybody that came through the live and checked out the live. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back. All right. Take care.